The Coast Guard cutter Roland Fritsch is the first cutter of its kind to be based outside the Caribbean. With a crew of more than 20, the Cape May-based patrol boat is responsible for search and rescue missions as well as intercepting smugglers. U.S. Senator from Delaware Tom Carper got an inside look at the boat during a visit to the Port of Wilmington. They have remarkable technology and their ability to go out to sea for extended periods of time and find things that need to be found, stop things that need to be stopped from coming into our, our country. In addition to examining the helm, touring the cabins. Oh my lord, this is like, this is like uh, quality in. I mean, it's, yes sir, yes sir. Like the the manufacturers really put a lot of work into the crew uh, habitability for these yeah. things. Ever, so. Checking out the engine room and sampling some coffee from the galley, Carper addressed the crew of the cutter. The words on the Constitution are words on a piece of paper. You make them real. You make them real with your service. And we've been blessed in this uh, country with generation generation after generation of men and women who are willing to risk it all to protect our freedom and our liberties. So on behalf of a grateful nation, this retired Navy captain who used to serve for 10 years on the Coast Guard subcommittee in the House of Representatives and who's been to a lot of Coast Guard stations on a lot of Coast Guard vessels and airplanes, I want to say Navy salutes Coast Guard. God bless you. Thank you for your service. The cutter is armed with a 25 millimeter machine gun and is able to fully coordinate its response with both the Department of Homeland Security and the Department of Defense as it protects assets along the East Coast, assets like the Port of Wilmington. We have to make sure that the, the uh, bad guys aren't just picking on this port and say, well, well, this is a place we can get anything through that we want to. Uh-uh. Uh, try to send it through here. We have the technology for men and women to, to, to stop it. Back on shore, Carper also took a look at the latest technology being used by U.S. Customs and Border Patrol agents at the Port of Wilmington. That includes a mobile cargo x-ray truck that can scan large cargo trucks. The bad guys are getting smart. They're, they've been smart for a long time, and we have to continue to get smart and have better technology. And it's just terrific to be able to see uh, the, uh, the investments in men and women and Customs and Border Patrol and the, uh, the, the investments we put in technology to, to detect, in some cases, people in uh, uh, vehicles, in some cases, uh, drugs, in some cases, weapons. Um, and uh, to be this good, finally, is very, uh, very, uh, very encouraging.